Hello friend, Joe at the office here. Do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps me out a lot. Thanks. Okay, today uh, I want to talk about uh, the ability in Microsoft Access to manipulate control the file system uh, on your computer or multiple files. So, um, my son actually came up with this about he needed a, uh, a group of files renamed uh, for a project he's working on and it was actually a bunch of different directories um, you know probably a thousand files that needed to be renamed because uh, in the creation of these files Windows had um, you know, put an underscore in the naming convention of this file, <clears throat> of these files. So, uh, he asked if I could create a way to, uh, automatically rename all of these files by, um, taking out the special character to the extension. So it would just leave the beginning of the file name and the extension. And, uh, yeah, it took me a few minutes, got it done. Uh, and I want to share it with you all because it's pretty neat. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Let me give you an example of it. So on uh, in Windows Explorer here, we can see that uh, we have three files here, three text files that all have this underscore and then some number after it. So I put the pictures in here on the, uh, a form I created in Microsoft Access as the underscore and the numbers and what we want it to do is remove the underscore and the numbers from each of these automatically. So quickly I created a, uh, a form uh, here and uh, a label that tells you what it will do. This tool will rename the files located in a directory by removing any part of the name from the selected character to the file extension. And here's an example of it. It'll turn this into this. Uh, a couple things about this form. There are three main controls here um, that I want to talk about. So let's go into the design view of this form. So first I have a, a TXT path uh, text, con uh, text box here. This will hold the path of uh, the uh, where what directory this will be the directory of where I want to rename files and then a, a txt char char which is a text box to hold the character that I'm looking for um, you know in in the string in the in the file name that I want to delete and everything after that to the extension and then of course uh, a command button um, this will just be command rename files. Let's go ahead and uh, look at it. Okay, so that's command rename files. Let's look at the uh, event procedure here. So we're going to do a few things here, and this is important. This is where the meat of what the work that gets done is. So uh, we do need to dimension a few things. Um, let's say string name uh, string. And then we'll do uh, we'll dimension um, the file, and one more the path. All right, all right. So let's uh, identify what the what the path is. The path is going to be just the um, what we put in so as we copy the path to the text box uh, text path um, this this part of the code will identify what's in that text box we need to add uh, a backslash though because That's what the code will expect. So we'll do that, and then we'll name um, the file 
equals a directory. So this is where we're going to pull the name of the file from. All of the files in this directory. So string path. <clears throat> and any file type. So let's talk about this for just a second. If you wanted to... So I'm just doing any. But if you just wanted to rename the text files, then you could do asterisk dot txt or any other type of file extension that you're looking for. In that case, it wouldn't, if you typed in that, it wouldn't touch anything but text files in the directory. Um, this, is, this is a safety feature also that you won't mess anything up. Oh, I forgot to close that parentheses. All right, and then let's go ahead and do our do loop. Um, so do while, do while loop, the length of str file is uh, greater than zero. So this will just continue to loop through this as we type the loop and do this until it runs out of files to do this with. So let's go ahead and copy this, and uh, I already had typed this, but let's go ahead and copy it and talk about it. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go through each of these files until there are no files left, and we're going to rename them. So we're renaming them. We're going to start with left. So starting with the left of the string file. And we're going to count with this second part, this part right here, where, uh, so we're going to start by, um, counting so we're looking for in the string we're looking for the character that's located in this text box so again uh, let's close out this text box right here which is defaulting to the underscore so in this string the underscore starting from one we're going to find that and then we're going to return what number in the file name that first character uh, is at so it might be in place six and place seven so right here we look at happy one two three four five six <clears throat> this in string will return six so we're going to start at the left of the string this string and we're going to count six characters minus one and so that would leave happy and we're going to add to that rename starting at the right of the file, the four, so that's the extension uh, plus the period. So that will return the happy.txt instead of this. It'll rename it. Or it'll, th th this is what we're identifying the string name as. So next, we actually want to do the command, which is name uh, str path and Uh, str file as str path and str name. All right, so what we're doing is we're renaming this file in this loop as this. So we're taking the old file name and replacing it with the new name, the new uh, string name that we've identified here. Uh, then, last thing, last two things. Um, just gotta recheck it. So, str uh, file uh, equals directory and we are going to loop that. All right, that should work. 
Save it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just checking, just checking. Looks good. All right, close that out. So now, save. Let's go ahead and look at this. So uh, we're going to see that the way that I would run this is I would just go into Windows Explorer and I would uh, click on the address bar. I'd say Control C for copy. I'd paste it into here, Control V. And then I defaulted this character in the form control to an underscore. But if you were looking for a hyphen or some other uh, character, that's in the all of the names of the files that you want to change that's this is where you would change it so let's go ahead and test it we're watching over here I'm gonna click the button rename files and let's see what happens it did exactly what we expected it to it took the underscore out and anything after it to the extension rename the files and so that's exactly what uh, my son needed it to do and uh, again I was the hero for the day and uh, he got through those few thousand files pretty quickly. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about with this, but if you have any comments or critiques, please leave it in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out um, if you appreciate the tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching.